my name is Bertrand Audouin and I'm the executive director of the International AIDS Society. Now there is a lot of discussion ending AIDS. What is your comment about this? Well, I think ending AIDS is an inspiration, really. Uh, we must look forward on the long term. We must have a long term strategy if we want to achieve things and if we want to make sure that we go the next step and really thinking that one day we can end the epidemic is looking forward maybe 20, 30, 40 years. But we need to do that in order to implement what we already know. So to me, this motto, ending the epidemic, uh, really is a means to talk to people outside the choir, if you want, and to reach out to those people who make decisions to political leaders, to decision makers, and make sure that they understand that if they support us, then we can turn the tide of, on the epidemic. What, what do you foresee as the biggest obstacle to reach this goal? Well, to me there are two main obstacles to, to ending the epidemic. The first one is finances. And certainly now, and you know, anytime you talk to a government or a donor now, the first answer is, well, you know, we're in the middle of an economic crisis. Still, they find money to support other things. So uh, I think we must find ways to tell people who allocate money that investing in AIDS and HIV is an investment. Uh, but that's a challenge, really, to overcome that obstacle. Uh, and to me, the second one is uh, stigma and discrimination. Um, and really, if we want to achieve, as was said earlier, a net free generation, this means that everyone should have access to care and treatment. And in many countries, it's not the case. Sometimes it's not the case because of lack of money. And sometimes it's not the case because, for example, in some countries, drug users don't have access to treatment. Sex workers are being denied their rights, MSM, in most countries are being denied their rights as well. So fighting stigma and discrimination will be the best way to achieve an AIDS free generation. Uh, turning the tide together is the slogan. What does it uh, imply to you? Well, how can I say that? Turning the tide to me means making sure that we can have less infections every year in every country and in every community. If we achieve that, if we achieve a world in which in two or three years' time we will be able to say in each country the number of new infections has decreased, the number of AIDS-related deaths has decreased, the number of people on treatment has increased, and in each community that is the case, then we will have turned the tide. What is your personal message during this week? Well, my personal message is really reach out outside people we already know. Uh, there will be more than 20,000 delegates here in that conference. I hope that all delegates to that conference know what we need to do to actually turn the tide on the epidemic. But what we need to do as a, as a community, as an AIDS community, during that conference and after the conference, is take that message to the people who won't be in the conference, so that they understand that we cannot do anything if they don't help us, and that it would be both financially, economically, and most of all, morally, a just thing to do to support the effort that we are making. The final question. There is a Washington Declaration. Uh, why should people sign it? I think people should sign the DC Declaration, because you know the DC Declaration is a call to one day end AIDS. And it's a call on evidence-based policies and on fighting stigma and discrimination. If we show by signing that declaration that we are strong on those messages, that will be a very powerful tool for us, for us all, to actually reach, reach out again to people who make decisions, to the global communities, to our governments, to our local people in public offices, to show us that we still are a strong community and even more than ever.